do the doors for you. Yeah, I can help. <coughs> but there is no extra. Nice to meet you. When you ask me who I am, I choose to see this question as rhetorical. I smoke away, with my eyebrows pointing towards the sky, my collarbones popping out into the air, my arms forcing themselves against the wind, my feet waiting to run against time, my eyes glistening, yet fixated onto you, not revealing, almost deceptive. But you never know. You never know until you do, or do you now? When you ask me who I am, who am I supposed to be? A matriarchy that runs independently, solving men quite helplessly. Overacting is my tendency. I have no ascendancy. I will never create my own legacy. my head and stop telling me who I am or what I can be because in my heart and in my soul I know the five-year-old who dreamt of stepping on a stage one day even though she was scared even though she thought she couldn't do it she had the sky in her eyes and her feet in her hands and she believed that she could. When you ask me who I am, I choose to say that I am beautiful, smart and ambitious. I am beautiful when I am the perfect sanskari brown girl going around the dinner table wishing every third, fourth, paternal, maternal, cha-cha, chachi, namaste auntie, namaste uncle, and awkwardly smiling when they say, kal to itni choti thi, but aaj, I am beautiful even when I am shedding blood at the rate of 10 liters per second, and don't mind me, but I am the baddest bitch you will ever I am beautiful when I get dreams of quantum physics, imagining my alternate reality as an atom with electrons spinning across its nucleus. I am beautiful even when I can't remember numbers from 1 to 10 in Spanish. It's hard. I am beautiful even when I'm laying in my bed at 11 a.m. in the morning with zero inclination or motivation to see the sun. I am beautiful even when I'm giving my thank you speeches in the shower. I am beautiful with makeup. And without. I am beautiful even when <laughs>